Hey there, it's TL Turner. Thank you so much for watching this quick video. Feel free to hit subscribe and stick around. Maybe leave a comment or two. All right, take care. Welcome to the overview for week 10, entering and exiting the market. Here are the objectives for week 10. Five step blueprint for perfect trades, entry triggers, calculating risk to reward, entering a trade and exiting a trade. Let's take a closer look. Here are the five steps to the blueprint for perfect trades. You must know your entry, you must know your take profit one, your take profit two, your stop loss, and a tight stop loss prior to entering the market. Here is an example of the five step blueprint for perfect trades in action. As you can see, we have identified our entry, our take profit one, our take profit two, our tight stop, and our swing stop. When entering the market, you will often find that there is a reason or a trigger, what we like to refer to as a price action pattern, or could be a failure to complete a move or a breach of a previous pivot zone. So all of these fall under potential entry triggers. When analyzing a position, the comparison between profit potential and risk is what is referred to as the risk to reward ratio. Great trades have a minimum of a one to two risk reward ratio. That means for every $1 that you're risking, $2 of profit is a potential. When entering a trade on your device, you will have a screen that looks similar to this. It will reflect the pair that you're trading, the type of order, the actual lot size that you will be using. And in this instance, because this is a pending order, it gives you the opportunity to enter the exact price that you would like your trade to be executed at. If you wanted to accept market execution, or enter a trade at that exact time instead of saying buy stop here ensure this says market execution and then it will give you the option to buy or sell alternatively when you are ready to close out your trade you will also still have this screen showing the particular pair it will show you your order number it will allow you to manipulate the lot size or the portion of the trade that you would like to close out. And as you can see here, the stop loss and take profits have already been entered. And so either we can close this trade out manually or allow the market to play out to close that trade. Your homework for week 10 is spending 30 minutes charting for supply levels spending 30 minutes charting for demand levels, spending 30 minutes charting for bears trending markets, and spending 30 minutes charting for bullish trending markets.
This completes the overview for week 10.